Hi, Pudding River Wine Cellars, friends and family. Alexa here. It got sunny out, so I decided to record this quick little video from our new patio that we um, just recently added lots of nice flowers to as soon as we open. We can't wait to have you back. So I thought I'd do a quick little lesson today on how to taste wine. Everyone always wonders why we do what we do when we taste. Why do we swirl the glass? Why do we make that funny face? Uh, wine isn't just about drinking, although that's the most important part. Um, but there are lots of things you can do to determine the quality of a wine um, and evaluate it like a professional. So in my career, I've done lots of wine tasting and these are kind of my tips for when you're tasting a wine. So um, here we go. Today we decided, um, I decided I'd taste the 14 Syrah from Pudding River Wine Cellars, of course. Uh, just a side note, we are still doing curbside pickup uh, and delivery in the Silverton Salem area. So we are here for your wine needs during this time of quarantine. It's always nice to have a glass of wine at the end of a busy day. Um, for myself, it's nice because I have two small children that I'm also trying to watch in school <laughs> at the moment. So uh, just a few things to think about when you're tasting wine. Uh, there are kind of three main components, right? There are primary flavors and aromatics. These are inherent in the grape. They are part of its um, profile. Then there are secondary, and these generally come from the winemaking process. Um, and then there are tertiary, and tertiaries come from bottle age. Um, so initially, initially when you're gonna start um, evaluating a wine, you wanna observe the color, right? Syrah is one of those very dark, inky grapes. It is one of the fullest bodied, richest grapes, although ne not necessarily the most tannic. Um, of course, then you swirl. And why do we swirl? Give it a good swirl. That's really just to contact it with air, right? As if you would decant a bottle of wine, you're just I'm putting oxygen in contact with more of the wine so that it releases the aromatic compounds. Once you're done swirling, put your nose in the glass. Not too much, maybe take a light whiff a little above it. There are lots of different ways to do this. You can stick your nose in, you can do one nostril, everyone has a difference. But remember, one cool thing about uh, aromatics in wine is, um, wine is the sense that's most connected to your memory. So what is it that you smell? In Shan Syrah, I always get tons of blackberry, black currant, plum sauce, um, really kind of as those primary fruits, right? It's very brambly. So we swirled, contact with oxygen. We smelled. Take a minute to think about what you're smelling. And then taste. You may wonder why I breathe in air over the wine when I initially taste it. It's because I'm trying to stimulate my olfactory, right? That's where all the aromatics and flavor comes from. So as you're breathing in air over the wine, you're actually highlighting it more. A couple other things to note too that I forgot to mention. When you're smelling, try this little, um, try this. Smell it with your mouth closed and then smell again with your mouth open and see what that changes for you. What new smells can you get? Uh, so on the aromatic side, like I said, I get lots of blackberry, lots of black currant, black plum, plum sauce. There's a savory element to it. Um, from the barrel, the barrel aging, which it is new French oak, I get a lot of smoke. There's black pepper, licorice. Syrah can also be a very spice driven wine because it does see a lot of oak generally. Tertiaries, uh, this wine is now, let's see, about six years old. So it is starting to develop some things like a little bit of leather some dried herbs, um, some gaminess, right? Which is also pretty classic for Syrah as it ages. Um, so those are the, the most important things to think about. And of course, to enjoy it. Uh, this is a really beautiful Syrah from the Walla Walla AVA, the Oregon side, um, which is known for making great kind of Rhone style wines um, in the new world. If you have any questions, please again, feel free to reach out to me. You can ask any questions you like info at puddingriver.com or 
Uh, my email is alexa at puddingriver.com and good luck. We look forward to seeing you soon. Here's to a good glass of wine. Cheers.